Good morning, Sabbath greeting. What beautiful blue skies, fresh morning. And a day of thinking about equivalence, a week of thinking about equivalence, if I'm thinking about, thinking about. A bit of a rail to the Lord this morning, a lot of a rail to the Lord at the beginning of the week. Give me, Lord, I'm sorry. Me upset. And then with root canal work, I was very uh, um, fearful. Very, um, yeah, I wasn't looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't. <coughs> <coughs> and of course, you find yourself super prayerful and super holy in those times and you're thinking wow this is where you should be all the time not just when there's a guy coming at you with a drill rotating at 15,000 revolutions a second or whatever it is make some wine like that so come through that praise the lord and uh, no pain praise the lord his blessing praise the lord and then i'm coming down this morning raining they say well why can't you know you see, how can I not convince the person next to me to come to Christ? My wife, my my, my parents, my my uh, um, sisters, my friends, and just thinking about equivalence or, or a natural tendency or, or assumption. And certainly those of the people around me, and certainly those of people I've met, is equivalent. We are human beings. We are on the same level or path. You, there might be differences in terms of you being a bit more excitable, or... Um, I don't know. But generally we are in the same, on the same level, the same here. And yet the, the, the truth about the gospel message and what's evident about the uh, Holy Spirit's and um, Christ's transformation of each of us <clears throat> is that we're definitely not the same. If I am in Christ and you aren't, that person stuck next to me, as arrogant as it sounds, I have Christ in me. <laughs> the power of the living God. Oh, bring down fire then. Perform a miracle. Heal the sick, raise the dead. Maybe I'm doing that all around and just in ways that you don't appreciate or see. Oh, the Bible says you'll never, you won't see it. They preach Christ crucified. It's a stumbling block to Jews. It's foolishness to the Gentiles. It's this equivalence I'm praying today and looking today for how to overcome, bring down, make you understand. Because it's got Christ in me, isn't me higher up. It's an acceptance of me being at the least common denominator, the lowest possible point accepted in me for who I am, who I was. Just singing a, a reminder of a worship song called Praise Adam, Adonai by Paul Wilbur. Who is like him, the lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean roars to the Lord of hosts. Praise Adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Praise Adonai, all the nations of the earth, all the angels and the saints sing praise. I'll just petition the Lord. It's given words of Psalm 89 to speak over this nation. You know, if you turn your back, 
he rebuke, he'll come, he'll do, you know, the things that we don't like God doing. Rebuking and burning up, and subducting into holes in the ground. Petition for power and authority to speak to overcome that equivalence oh everything's the same well, I, I live in a million dollar house you don't do you I drive a big car you don't do you so what, what? is that automatic ambivalence is that the right word strong superiority and you can't shame uh, Kiwis New Zealanders into anything they have a very um, twisted perception <laughs> an idea of suffrage of course they were pretty much left to it by the British originally so the, the, there's a there's Partly a, a feeling of uh, frontiersmanship, you know, establishment. They've had to work and eat the land to, to, to uh, uh, get a living out of it and to provide, build shelters and stuff. I think perhaps what, what, what causes people to come against that is because it's, you know, it's a plentiful land and uh, there's trees everywhere. And hills and mountains are relatively low and it's relatively warm. Even though it could be cold in winter, it's chilly this morning, but you know, it's comparatively easy. Although it is hard, and it has been hard for them, they've been let down, of course, uh, uh, British. Uh, dumping them in the 1970s in favour of Europe all the Commonwealth so, and, and the, 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 they maintain their Commonwealth ality to some extent you know, they retain the flag and the <coughs> Queen's head on the coins but they know they've been let down so they don't actually come through that um, you know you let them stay out uh, they try and hold a, a line which is noble, but ignoble. You know, have a go. Get rid of the flag, get rid of the queen. If that's what you believe. She's let you down. Or, you know, overcome it and come to the rescue of... You know, uh, stand beside again, you know, thing. So, the, 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 they won't be shamed into anything. They have a perception that they've paid the price and they've suffered the worst of things um, they deserve better um, but they won't receive instruction um, from anybody who isn't I know, counted worthy of instruction no who isn't fat and white uh, isn't yeah, British authority, as they see it. But of course, they're missing that. Of course, is where where does the Holy Spirit come in? If the Holy Spirit speaks, do if it's the highest or the lowest of you, and the Holy Spirit speaking through that person, do what the Holy Spirit says. And thank God for that person. And I've come to the corral, the place of blessing, and the breeze has dropped, and the... it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm alone. I'm not alone. Praise God. You want to share in the goodness and the good things of God. You want to share in the truth of the gospel. You want to share in that ability that I, oh, I've seen God step into this bay and, and, and come and I'm the only person here so who has he done it for, for himself no, for, for me 
then that relationship, special and, <laughs> and amazing that it is, is available to you, me, everybody, everybody, everybody. There's not a person that relationship's not available to. But if you, you know, have that moment, if you have that time, if you set things aside, and if you, you know, take up your cross, God meets you. God fulfills you. Why would I go anywhere else? I'm looked at by people here. Oh, you don't come here. You don't. You don't come up the mountain. We go to pray. We go to pray and bring down God's blessing upon the place. You're like, I go to meet God and be with Him. Why would I go anywhere else? Certainly not without you. You know, coming to recognise that first, or praying that you recognise that first. Overcome yourselves. Overcome your self-importance. Come to the river. Oh, it's a long way. It's a difficult walk. Well, here, yeah, tell me about it. I'll listen. But I'll know in that equivalent. You're a bit missing. Not that I'm boasting, but you can boast. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. He washed me white as snow. All to him I owe. Sin had left its crimson stains. <laughs> oh, yeah, that bit. I pray for those people. Thinking about Peter Tyndall the other night, the party, 24 hour party people. In Baltimore. The Northwest UK. Well, they're all over now Vietnam, Cambodia. Everything we looked for, everything we wanted, everything we needed, everything we, we searched out, everything that we stood for. Is answered by a relationship with Jesus Christ. Every party, every laugh, every joyous moment is fulfilled in Jesus Christ seems like so much nothing, so much dung, so much detritus, 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 rubbish. Compared to the joy that you get in Jesus Christ. Not 24 hour party people just doing it for ourselves. For a 24 seven, maker of the heavens and the earth, the king of all creation, doing it for each and every one of us. Boom. Boom. Oh, and how can I share that if I don't upload the videos? I'm going to upload last week's video. Will I have time to upload this week? I don't even upload last week's sermon. Stop lamenting, Michael. Look at the joy of things. I'm going to get back to uh, spending some time with my Lord and Saviour, my Father, my Captain, my King, my Steersman, my Guide, my Comfort, my Refuge. My sure and present help in times of trouble. Have a blessed Sabbath, and I pray for you, if you haven't already, to receive Jesus Christ into your life.